so perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve, all much the dress code. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid, and I think we're going to see it be successful here. So it's away we go then. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. And it's played forward. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, he just had too many touches, and he was asking for it to be pinched off him. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Oh, that's neat. Time to deliver. Played in deep. And that's been lever clear. Forward it goes. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Tries to get it forward quickly. Whistle goes for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. We'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. And we're off again. Let's go took him on. Can be very glad that half time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No cuts, no glory. Turns it out wide. So who's he picking out? And the shot! They've done it! The breakthrough strike! A moment that needed composure, and he had plenty of it.
Yule's old boys get themselves into the lead. Or whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worth the treat. And now the breakaway. Out to the left it goes. Over to the left. Chance! He's good for it! It just took too long getting forward. Oh, Peter, the best counter-attacks are, are pacey and incisive, we know that. And that one never really got going. Being played forward. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. It just has to be done. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, that's where he wants it. That's alert and sharp, and very well played. Now it's Maxi Rodriguez. Nicely controlled. Looking for a decent ball in. Danger averted for now. Plenty waiting in the middle. Loose ball, who's going to get there? And time is up. One goal settled it, a tense and exciting game that just got away. Well, there's no shortage of effort and commitment from them. They were just undone by that second-half goal.